All right, legends, welcome back. It's your 59th video, congratulations. In this video, we're gonna talk about generator effects, and these are great for backgrounds and placeholder elements. Now, I was actually just watching YouTube, and I was watching, uh, it's like an ESPN show, Sports Talk Radio, and I was looking at this video right here. Let's go ahead and play it. Pain, the sharpness of that pain, no matter what the doctors say, they can't tell you. Okay, so regardless of what these gentlemen are saying, you see this background back here, and it's actually kind of moving. It's actually animated. That's what we're going to create in this video. Uh, in case maybe we are having a debate with two people, and then we wanted to show the actual B-roll of what they're talking about, this would be great for that. And we could definitely make this. Um, we're not going to make it as clean as ESPN has it in this two-minute video. They've got an image down here. They've got some text down here. But we can make all these borders and all this stuff just like that. So let's get into it. So what we're going to want to do, first things first, is we're going to want to, what do we got here? Let's go ahead and um, go over here to, you see this little icon right here where it's got like the old school countdown, five, four, three, two, one. Let's click on that. Now, these are all placeholders, even though they are, they do look a lot different. And uh, some of them actually look like transitions. What I'm going to, what I'm going to want to do is I'm going to go to all and let's type in sports. Let's see if we got anything sports, just like that. Arcs. Okay. Now keep in mind, each one of these generators has its different parameter effects. So you can play around and let's go back to, uh, we'll get rid of the filter. You can click on any one of these, drag it and drop it. And in the inspector, it's going to have different effects. Just like that. We're going to click on this. This has glow. We we'll probably change this, make it bigger, change the color. Yada, 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 saturation, stuff like that. Uh, I'm going to get rid of that. And then blobs. Let's go ahead and see it's got completely different parameters. Change the color right here. And let's play it out. It's like a lava lamp, one of those volcano lamps. I don't want to do that. Let's just go ahead and kind of mimic what we just saw in ESPN. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go down to sports. And for some reason, this is not called sports, but it's going to show up arcs just like that so let's check out the parameter for this so and again you can ripple trim however big or small the longevity of the clips that you're showing beforehand are and uh yeah obviously to the left shorter obviously to the right longer let's check out the parameters on this what can we do with this um that's it we can either have it animated like it is by default or we can click still image and it's static just like that but let's go back since we're trying to mimic something that we just saw on espn now what we're going to want to do is we'll have that going doesn't look half bad and let's go ahead and add some clips to it so i'll take this clip right here um we'll go ahead and chop it you can ripple trim it blade tool it. I'm not too worried about it. I know it's not going to be the greatest of clips. I'm probably not even talking in this clip. Let's go to transform. Let's make this small. Obviously it's shot a little bit differently than how the gentleman at ESP, ESPN shot it, but I think you guys get the gist of it. And then let's go ahead and grab another clip. And this is just a clip from me. I don't even know what this is. I think congratulating people on another one of my videos and we will minimize that as well and we do know how to give it borders keep in mind these are two completely random clips this isn't a debate this isn't a presidential debate where these guys are going back and forth and it's synced up and everything's perfect this is just completely <laughs> random so we can play it you can add borders to it we know how to add borders to it um if you missed let's line these up if you missed um a nice little golf clap to those who congratulated it i've been a little it doesn't look half bad. We just played around with this for about a minute. We came up with that. Um, add your borders to it. Go to, we talked about adding custom borders to it. We had a video on that maybe like 20 or 30 videos ago. I'm actually not even caught up. Let's go ahead and drag it here. Drag it over that. And we have to pull this a little bit bigger now. And let's give this one a border as well. We can change the color around. And that's kind of the gist of the example that I wanted to showcase in this video. And that's kind of it. Well, now let's play it from the top. Obviously, we could tweak it out, make it look better. These aren't even scaled properly. 
something like that. On my more personal kind of like vlog channel. What am I doing in that video? I'm looking away. I'm looking at my cue cards. I'm looking at my notes. I'm not even ready. But that's kind of the gist. Uh, congratulations for those who made it this far. In this video, we created a generator effect. Hopefully this made sense. Good luck with this. And I'll see you in the next video where I actually have to show my face and congratulate you guys. I don't have to, but I really want to. Congrats who made it this far. I love you so much. I'll see you in the next video. CH out.